Um, this is my um, possibly favourite story in a while. Um, it's a mystery worthy of Tinseltown. A huge Hollywood style sign has appeared on the outskirts of Wrexham and nobody is sure where it came from. Yeah, there are a few theories knocking around. Some locals have linked it to A-list actors Ryan Reynolds, Rob uh, McElhenney, who recently bought the town's football club. You remember that story? There's a lot of interest in that. So mm -hmm. was there a link there? We don't know. Ian Haslam is in Wrexham for us this morning, and I think he must be somewhere near the sign. Morning. Morning, Louise. Yeah, uh, welcome to this slag heap, actually, here in Wrexham. I'm about three quarters of the, of the way up it, but it's no ordinary slag heap, this. No, as you correctly say, it has the famous Wrexham sign, a real touch of Hollywood up here. Uh, all these letters that have appeared here, all about 20 foot high. It really is glorious, actually. Uh, it's got the town buzzing, so many people talking about it, people who normally just walk the dogs up here, they'd be good enough to take selfies, people have been visiting the town from elsewhere to go up here and take a look, it's really, really impressive. The question now is, who's put it up here? A lot of speculation, as you say, about the new owners of Wrexham, the Hollywood owners, but at the end of the day, so far, people simply don't know. Well, we came down here yesterday to try and find out from some of the locals Try and find out some more. Here's what they have to say. Whichever angle you look at it from, the Wrexham sign has brought a touch of glitz and glamour to the slag heap upon which it now so proudly stands. And people can't get enough of it. It's a little bit of fun. So yeah, I think it's great, I do. Yeah. 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 You've come up to take a look at it today. You're impressed close up? Yeah, it's huge when you get up close to it. Is this putting Wrexham on the map? It's about time. <laughs> It's clearly based on the Hollywood sign, that worldwide symbol of the entertainment industry, which has inevitably led to suggestions that Wrexham AFC is behind it. After all, the National League Club is now owned by Hollywood actors Rob McElhenney and Ryan Reynolds, who recently told the BBC about his vision for the future. The Wrexham Club is incredible. More incredible still is the community around it. So uh, this this is, is as much a, a project in investing in uh, the Rex and Red Dragons as it is investing in the community of Wrexham itself. So we're really excited. But not excited enough to stick up a giant Wrexham sign, apparently. He's tweeted, I wish I'd thought of that, but if I were to really dig into it, I wish I wasn't someone who wished they'd thought of that. So who did? We asked the leader of Wrexham Council for his thoughts. It's brought a smile to people's faces. From all over the world, people have been contacting me. So let's hope it, it stops here for as long as it possibly can. There's the connection with Wrexham Football Club and the new owners. And I think people are trying to put two and two together. None of us know, nobody knows who's... who's, who's you don't know so. yourself? No, no, I don't, honestly. If I did, I would say so. The guessing game has continued on social media. Who's done it? Why they've done it? Is it a good thing? Is it not a good thing? Whatever the opinion, it's certainly got people talking. Now, there are some people that reckon the Egyptian pyramids and Stonehenge were put there by aliens. I can confirm that's not the case here because a bloke's got in touch with the BBC to say he saw workmen erecting this Wrexham sign. So that at least solves one part of this mystery as to how it got here. But still no further on as to identifying who had put up the sign, we headed into Wrexham Town Centre to find out the word on the street. I think personally it's obviously been done by Rob and Ryan. Um, just because it seems to be a professional job. I suspect it's something to do with Rob and Ryan, uh, but no, I think it's a fantastic idea. It's a stroke of genius. Who do you think is responsible for the I reckon it's probably like Ryan Reynolds yeah. or something like that. Definitely. Yeah, definitely Ryan Reynolds. There's a lot of that, but surely there are other people in this town that might want to do that. No or... one else that could afford to do something like that, it's let's be plastic. honest. It's still a lot of money, you know, surely. Mm -hmm. Why do you know who's put it up? No, that's what I mean. <laughs> I'm trying to find out people like yourselves. So, no closure on the matter, only continued speculation and intrigue. Surely we'll find out soon. Surely we will. I think there's a very serious journalistic investigation going on here. And I'm glad I clarified the fact that aliens weren't involved, just in case you were wondering. Uh, as regards this sign, you can see it on the motorway that kind of runs adjacent to the sign from a distance. So you can see it in the far distance, about a mile away. Uh, but you should be really concentrated on the road by that point. Um, but as regards anything else, yeah, it is visible for a few miles around on these hills over here, and it's just getting people talking. What we want to find out this morning, ideally, we're going to be back here later on, is who has put this up and why. 
why has it brought us here today? I'm enjoying it, to be honest. It's a, a slag heaps go. This is right up there in the very best. <laughs> Do you know what? I drive past, <laughs> I drive past it all the time. And it is, even without it, was, I was always intrigued by that slag heap. So I'm, I'm also, I'm really intrigued. Um, I hope you find the answers to these questions. <laughs> yeah. So do I. So do I. Uh, <laughs> it's getting all philosophical now. I, do you know what? I'd honestly, I'd rather not know. I do. quite like. I quite like it to remain like a, just enigmatic. Yeah. That there's no explanation for it. Yeah. Anyway, um, we will return to that. Um, Any thoughts? Yeah. Of course. Yeah, if you Despite know, what I've said if you do know, get in touch. <laughs> You're watching BBC Breakfast.